Oh. Oh! Oh! There's no way you can't feel that. Oh! Oh! Ow! Ow! Yo. So I used to be a fighter, and uh, I think I've only knocked like maybe one or two people out. I don't, I don't really knock people out. That's not my type of uh, enjoyment. But anyways, brutal knockouts against monsters. There's monsters hiding under my bed. And then there's Mike Tyson. Tyson. The most expensive heavyweight fighter, the strongest puncher, the best in many other ways. So right, count right hand by Mike Tyson is invited. And there was an In this video, we're going to recall the 15 best knockouts performed by Tyson and enjoy Damn. every moment. Oof. Mike learned his signature style, characterized by its speed and explosive sharp blows. Yo, those are some Shimano. strong punches, dude. This style manifested itself from the beginning of Mike's professional career. It seems like, yeah, especially wow. especially evident Oof. in the 15 most powerful knockout blows he delivered. Oh, fuck. One of his early fights is no exception. His bout with Marvis Frazier in 1986. At that time, Yo, Marvis he looks was like a promising a boxer, He's so with a record small. of 16 and 1. Everyone expected a legendary spectacle from the fight. Tyson moved his opponent into a corner and Tyson looks right really, really cut, small. Followed by a series of five powerful oh, blows. Shit. Dude. Frazier falls, and the referee starts counting. Only 30 seconds have passed from the start of the fight. No way. And Marvis 30 seconds? Conscious. The referee stops counting. It took several minutes for Frazier to come to his senses. Oh, it's not without good oh. reason that this hard knockout is called oh. one of the most spectacular in Iron Mike's career. Iron Mike, that's a Give me first your reaction to the fight. On uh, the fight, I was confident. I trained real hard with my trainer, Kevin Rooney, who I owe a great deal to. And 25 came, wins and 23 knockouts? I, I felt the deep heart. I was going to stop him in the Damn. first round. Did you know from watching tapes of him that you could hit him with the uppercut? No, that, that's my favorite punch. Um, and I, and I <laughs> that's my favorite time, punch. For my trainer telling me, as he throws his punches, he's bent down. And I knew that would be perfect for my oh, uppercut. I planned on working the body wow. more, but I saw the opportunity and it looked too good to go away. <sighs> Ooh, he's still hungry. He's literally September, wanting to keep eating. Mike Tyson entered the ring against Alfonso Ratliff. I don't know any of the other the opponents. The fight against Alfonso was the last before Mike's first championship title fight with Trevor Burbick. Tyson quickly Yo. figured out his rival, Shit, but he's demonstrating running. Demonstrating the brilliant technique that distinguished him from his early years in the professional ring. Oh! After waiting a moment, Mike dodges to the left and throws a powerful <sighs> left hook into Ratliff's jaw. Mm. Mm. Alfonso falls to the floor. He gets up on one knee and waits until the referee counts to nine before he stands. Mike rushes to finish the fight yeah. and shoots a series of eight hits. Ratliff barely escapes in the clinch. The only thing that I don't understand with Mike Tyson, he fights pretty open. He chases with head first. I don't watch a lot of boxing, so I might be uh, technically wrong. Uh, but, you know, it seems like he's rushing at the guy. One, the guy might be obviously knocked in days, so he kind of sees that he's able to. I mean, Mike Tyson is, is a legend, right? So, you know, chasing, and then he's an aggressive fighter, so him going at it, man, that's scary. After the referee separates the fighters, I just Tyson won. begins beating Ratliff near the ropes and ends up finishing Ooh. him in the Ooh. second round. He really does like that uppercut. Dude. Oh. Oh! Oh, 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 dude, these are heavy punches. Heavy, heavy punches, dude. The, yo, he's just yo. It's it's a it's a shooting range, man. Holy, dude, that's crazy. Tyson's strength is both impressive and terrifying. Mm. Our next example is the Kinda fight with Trevor boxer, Burbank though, in November like of '86. At that time, Trevor was the reigning heavyweight champion of the world. Okay, so this is like a heavyweight At championship fight. At the end of the first round, Burbeck is on the verge of a knockout. He has already missed several incoming hard punches, but is still on his feet. 
At the beginning of the second round, Tyson knocks him down and continues the attack uppercut probably, with an right? uppercut to the jaw. Yeah, that's a left hook look to at, the head. Yo, Burbeck ah, tries three times dude, that's to get up, scary. but keeps falling. How do you back watch Mike Tyson as an opponent and be like, "Yeah, I can beat him"? Fight. The result dude, is a that's technical Dude, that's crazy. Knockout, He's like making small? Tyson the youngest world heavyweight. Yeah, champion. that's crazy. Each punch he does. Ooh, he misses that uppercut, and then watch. He's just gonna hook it. Boom. Right through, right through. Wild. Oh, he falls. That's unreal. Like I'm, I already see how small Mike Tyson is, but the power in his punches, man. They, they, they go through. I don't know how he hasn't like dislocated anyone's jaw, broken someone's mouth. That's one of the craziest things. I can feel it. Iron Mike is famous for the brutal power he used against his opponents. Yeah, brutal power. In the fight with power. Franklin Thomas on May 30th, 1987, this was especially noticeable. By he this time, Franklin had only Ooh. one loss on his record Ooh. to Trevor Burbeck, who was defeated by Tyson earlier. The fight began with an explosion My goodness. of Dude, he's just taking. from Mike. Yo, but he's Franklin just... Resisted. It's a punching Thomas bag. Thomas lasted until the sixth round oh! when Tyson threw a devastating series of uppercuts and hooks with both hands. How does no one get him? Thomas no one clips him. He's just throwing punches. It was a punches. absolute victory. Oh. In oh. his autobiography, oh. Tyson later said that he hit Pinklin with everything he had, not caring what would happen to him. Oh! Dude, oh, yo, they're not protecting themselves. They are not protecting themselves. I don't know how he do in the modern boxing because I feel like maybe they have better Once cards. and for all was the time. Like in modern boxing, I feel like they're a little bit more technical. Like these guys are just like heavyweight fighters. They just kind of fight. And then Mike Tyson, I feel like he understood the game a little bit more. And he he just kind of, he was so hungry. All he did was box that he knew exactly that. He probably didn't have a lot of stamina. So he would throw as many hard hits as he can in the first like three rounds, trying to end it as soon as possible. But I th I, I think if you took him to the, to like what, round eight, round 10, like exhaust him a little bit. Maybe that's the plan. Maybe like play the ropes, you know, make a miss. But I I don't know, man. He doesn't miss. So far, I, I haven't seen him not connect uh, a shot through the guard. Title listed on the posters about the fateful fight of the two undefeated heavyweight champions, Michael Spinks and Mike Tyson. Michael in Spinks. I don't know any of these perhaps opponents. This perhaps the most important event in the world of professional boxing. Tickets cost more than $1,500. And Trump such Plaza. celebrities Love as it. Madonna, Oprah Winfrey, and Sylvester Stallone came to see the spectacle. The hall was Yeah, Mike was Tyson also stars. must have gotten paid, but he went broke. That's crazy. Yeah, see, he just goes right at him. It's just like a punching bag. In the middle of the He's basically round, doing shadow Tyson boxing. Tyson throws an oh! uppercut to the chin using a right hook. Spinks falls. The referee counts to three, and he rises. A powerful left-right combination to the head. Oh yeah, he's Spinks done. again is That's, lying on dude, the canvas. He is connect. Yo, he can't. Ninety-one seconds into round <sighs> one, and the fight is over. The fight became not only known for its short duration, but also for the staggering fees paid to the boxers: twenty-two million and thirteen point five million dollars. The Ring magazine named this one-round fight. 13 million and 22 million back in what 1990s in the 90s yo that's a lot of money yo could you imagine he just invested all that in like like an amazon in 2000 or apple or something he just put all his money in that oh if he only had like a, a smart friend or like an advisor or something to help him out and just like stored it like alan iverson i think alan iverson had a friend and they or reebok basically like said after 50 you can have the rest of your money or or your or whatnot, like something like that. But could you imagine? Wild. 22 million in, in the 90s. That's pretty fucked. The fight of the year. As a champion and as a winner was to try to fight back. Many of Tyson's opponents were knocked out for the first time in fights with him. The same happened in the fight with another boxing icon. Oh, like everyone that Larry had the first Holmes. fight, they get knocked Before out. Before the start of the fight, Holmes insulted Tyson several times. Ooh. And this did not set well with Tyson. Dude, these, you can feel the pain. There's no way you can't feel that. During the fight, Iron Mike showed animal aggression in yeah, all he's its an glory. animal, bro. The fight ended in the fourth round, 
delivering oh. an extremely oh. humiliating defeat for Holmes, who was knocked down three times. Oh. In oh. the end, oh. after the knockout, Larry had an episode of fainting and shock. He needed a doctor to get up. Larry Holmes subsequently considered this fight his only defeat and called Tyson a real champion. Ooh. Who's that? Who's that guy that Mike Tyson bit his ear off? There's a buddy who got his ear bitten off by Mike Tyson, I guess, due to frustration. I'm really curious on how Mike Tyson doesn't win. But he goes hard in the paint, man. Hard in the paint. Yo. Yo. The Hard Way Back was the name Look at of his intro. Tyson's Love fight it. with Alex Stewart. After suffering no a idea defeat in the fight with Buster Douglas, losing his title and damaging his reputation, Tyson actively tried to restore both. And Wait, he succeeded. Hold up, he lost? He did. Ten seconds into the he fight, he lost. Did he say he lost? Stewart, after suffering a defeat in the fight with Buster Douglas, Buster losing Douglas. his title and damaging his reputation. Yeah, how? Tyson what? How does he lose? Tyson actively tried to restore both, and. He succeeded. Ten seconds into the fight, yeah, and Stewart was knocked down with two speedy right punches. You train for he six months to do a ten-second fight. was knocked down again about a hit minute him. in. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Dude, he's... Yeah. He doesn't feel his legs. That's how he feels. Yeah. Oh, he's done. Watch this. I want to see this. I want to see this. God. A quick Dude. look at two and a half minutes yeah. marked the third Unreal. knockdown. Unreal, this, man. He's Tyson like, yo. Tyson won by a technical knockout. Another brilliant victory on his way back to the top. I got to try boxing. I don't think I can do nearly like one like one to one hundredth of what he does. He just didn't have the style, Jim, unlike Douglas. Woo! He just really opens himself up, though. He just goes, he goes flaring. August 1995. Like if he went Tyson's inside, clap, like just went bang. Just, His peak he of must style have was replaced with a stronger and a punch and attack jaw. and more caution Ooh. in approach Dude, those and are defense. scary, bro. His first successful fight after prison was with Buster Mathis Hold up. Jr. After prison? Five. Tyson's fighting style had changed. His peak. Huh? It changed? August 1995. Tyson's fighting style had changed. His peekaboo style was replaced with a stronger punch and attack and more caution on approach and defense. Okay. His yeah. First That's the thing that I was saying is like, it's, it's his defense. Like he really goes in like just guns blaring. Like he just throws hands. But if someone were to like, just kind of like make distance, make him like exert all that energy. And then you kind of catch him like wailing at you. He went to what? Successful fight after prison was with Buster Mathis Jr. An undefeated boxer. Dang, at the he time. went. The start of the fight was rather slow. Buster successfully evaded punches and yeah, see, you're evading. And tactics for the first. What is that around his waist? Do they make them wear like a protective guard on their on their stomach? First or two rounds. Despite this, the third round was completed with a series of the strongest uppercuts from Tyson. Mathis fell to the canvas. His favorite the is referee the referee counted too. to ten. A victory by knockout for Tyson. Mike. Did you, did you expect him to come straight at you? Oh, oh, you oh right in the face, yourself? man. I expect him to do um, many things. I expect him to move around, run, because he's able to do that. And I expect him yeah. to smother me because he's been very successful. But I'm very familiar with his style of fighting. I was raised, and I'm the best at that style of fighting. I knew every move he was making. That's how come when I, when I did a couple of particular moves, he was, he was stunned. He didn't expect them. It's crazy. He, he has some kind of lisp or something. Obviously, we all know he has like a uh, speech thing, right? But I think when I was younger, I thought he was just stupid. But looking back now, he's really in, like really smart. He's intelligent. Like that makes sense. Like he's just a fighter. And his lisp or his speech thing just made him look stupid. But man, he is smart. Not smart with his money and he does dumb shit. But in September as a 1996, fighter. Tyson's Personally, fight with Bruce Seldon dumb, was one of the shortest heavyweight title wise, fights in yo. boxing history, lasting only 1 minute and 49 seconds. Tyson immediately attacked aggressively, 
Ooh. Selden tried yeah, to throw a just, flurry of left jab punches yeah, just and to used run. his signature Look tactics. But Tyson easily dodged yeah, see, the attack. Because you want Tyson in wants to get in, round, so you just keep Selden distance. was knocked down with a oh, left man. hook, followed immediately by a straight right. The boxer got up to the count of Yo, eight he's and continued to fight, but was again knocked down. He's afraid. By a left hook. Yeah, he's gonna get hit. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, he is a Bruce got back bro. to his feet but lost his balance. Referee Richard Steele stopped the fight and awarded Tyson the nah, win man. by TKO. He didn't lose balance. He's just thinking to himself, being like, what the fuck am I doing here? And why am I putting myself in this situation? He then was like, you know what? I'm out. I'm going to just uh, wobble a little bit and uh, let them just... Uh, cancel the match because I do not want to get hit again. Making him a three-time world heavyweight champion. Yeah, he's, he fell to the ground himself. See? He's protecting his own... He's protecting his mind. The end of the 90s was not an easy time for Tyson. After a stint in prison and the revocation That's of crazy. his boxing license due to the fight with Holyfield, the frequency of his fights changed. Wait, what? Prison? Holyfield. That sounds familiar, at least. Boxing license due to the fight with Holyfield. The frequency of his fight. Revocation of his boxing license due to the fight with Holyfield. The so he frequency lost his of his fights license? changed. About once every six months, he Holyfield. held fights with high ranking athletes. One of these fights was with Francois Botha. Oh shit. Mike had been preparing for only a month and a half. Ugly ass stash, though. Underestimating his opponent. Botha had the Wait. only a month and a half. Francois Botha. He underestimated. Mike had been preparing for only a month and a half. Apparently underestimating his opponent. Oh, okay. Botha had the advantage during the first four rounds and led over Tyson, who seemed to be really? unsure of himself. Oh. Several times the fight went past the bell, oh, so it's and the fighters had to be separated, and points were detracted. Oh, interesting. What the hell? Does that happen? Oh, that's a canceled fight. I thought that's a brother. Botha began to taunt Tyson, Botha. which angered him. Francois was sure of his victory until, in Ooh. the fifth round, a oh! short right blow from Tyson sent Botha to the canvas. A brilliant knockout turned the Jeez. fight around. And see? Ow! Ow! Oh! Oh! January 2000. Hmm. Tyson fights in Europe against the champion of Great Britain, Julius Francis. The European public is sure of Francis's victory. Oh, man, with newspapers I've... even. I was a heavyweight fighter, and I was short. I'm like six one, so I'm pretty. I'm pretty short as a heavyweight, and I'm fighting dudes that are like six five, six six. Oh man, they're tall. They're big so I'm a, I'm a small fighter basically so I'm like Mike Tyson but instead of like powerful strong hands I had quick feet right so I had quick movement I had to do a lot of uh, evasion and distance right anyways it's rough going against those tall motherfuckers but Tyson the way that he just presents himself yo it's unreal no wonder he's a legend like he has no fear I had fear I was like ah great I'm in the semis bronze is fine but he's like the Eiffel Tower I'm out I'm good I'm good. I'm good. I'm good with bronze. Cheers, you know? Damn. Paying huge sums to advertise on Francis's shoes. However, as is often the case with professional boxing, expectations do not always match reality. Wait, what did he say before? Boxing. Francis's street. With newspapers even paying huge sums to advertise on Francis's shoes. However, been paying huge. The European public is sure of Francis's victory. Okay. With newspapers oh, they just even that paying that great huge guy. sums to advertise on Francis's shoes. However, as is often the case with professional well, boxing, look at all those, expectations wow, do all those not always match reality. Jeez. You can hear. It. Oh, you can. Oh, you. Can, yeah, he really loves that uppercut. I thought he connected. I thought he connected. I thought he connected. Oh my god. 
Oh, is that a body shot? Hit him in the liver, huh? Or the spleen. Yeah, how much more can you get? Dude. Is he getting hit in the face Julius or the... fell twice during the first round. After a fifth fall, the referee stopped the fight in the second round. What is that thing around their waist? Round. What is that? After a this is the second ball, guy the that I. This is the second guy that I saw this. I didn't know that they had these things. I don't even know what it is. Does Tyson have one too? Up the fight in the second round. The fight ended with a knockout at 58 seconds. He doesn't even care anymore. In round He's two. just trying to get his reputation back. He's trying to get his boxing license back. Damn, this is dramatic. In mid-2000, a fight with Lou Severis took place, which left a mark in Tyson's record as one of the fastest in his career. Check hands. This is where I Iron Mike's my... famous oh! aggression came into play. The fight began with a powerful hook from Tyson, with which he knocked Lou down. Lou got up, but Mike rushed to finish him off. The referee tried to stop the fight, but Tyson got so carried away that he hit the referee in the back of the head. The fighters were separated, and Tyson was awarded victory by a technical knockout. Dude, this is scary, dude. I'm getting, like, nervous. Damn, dude, I am getting nervous. Look, look how... That, how is that Mike not a penalty if you keep off. fighting when the referee, the referee stops? tried to stop the fight, but Tyson got so carried away that he hit the referee in the back of the head. The fighters were separated, and Tyson was awarded victory oh. by a technical knockout. Dude, the oh, sorry, whoa, dude, I'm getting like anxiety. These are crazy, brutal hits. I'm just, ugh, could you imagine Mike Tyson fighting in this era? Yo, he'd make bank i wonder if he'd be smart like smarter with his money he also seems like that type of personality that like really fucks around like after fights like in the public eye so he'd be in the news a lot maybe it'll get him mentally like this way like it's really hard for you know you to see the critics you see you know because i feel like his mental like if you if you mess him up mentally like if you kind of egg him on he gets too aggressive he can get sloppy so he's very emotional so if you can get get his emotions kind of riled up i feel like you have the upper hand so like i i wouldn't think social media would be something where it'll be to his advantage but be advantage the other fighters would have the advantage that's wow everyone expected the fight with polish boxer andrew galata Polska. to be aggressive since both fighters were known for rough tactics galata was known for low blows and tyson for fighting after the bell what was that galata was known for low blows and oh my god that was a known for terrible miss Yo, is this... was known for low blows and Tyson Ew! for fighting after the bell. Tyson started the fight with his characteristic aggression. Galata made good use of the left jab and his height advantage. In the last 30 seconds, Tyson threw several strong punches, one of which hit the target. Next, another powerful right cross, oh! and Galata was on mm. the floor, you bleeding can, from you a can cut over his left chin, eye. Man. You can feel that. Oh, yeah, that's right, right in the chin, dude. Like the jaw just gets fucked. After the Damn. first round, Galata twice asked his trainer to stop the fight. Between the second and third rounds, really? Galata told his corner that he would not continue and began walking around the ring. Despite the encouragement of his coach and attendants, really? Galata refused to continue the fight. After the third bell, the referee raised Tyson's hand, a technical knockout. Spectators would remember this spectacle for a long time. Buddy just quit? That's hilarious. October 2001, another fight outside the US. Ugh. The fight this was looks with like the Danish fighter Brian Nielsen who was known as one of the dirtiest fighters. 25,000 spectators came to watch this fight. From the first round, Nielsen Why was he fighting under a hail blobs? of blows from Tyson. Is it because he's old? Oh, dude, the camera's right in their face. Oh! 
Yeah, I see he has that belt thing. I don't know what that is. In the third round, is that to Tyson hit Nielsen below the belt. Is that to Clearly protect him from his uh, lower pain. abdomen or something? The fight resumed, but the situation did not change. And after the sixth round, Nielsen refused to continue the fight. An impressive fee of 13 million and a technical knockout again went to Iron Mike. Yeah, come on. Obviously, Mike Tyson was the better winner. That's uh, that's like common. The sense. last knockout in Tyson's professional career was in a fight with Clifford Etienne on February 22nd. Wait, his sorry, dude. I'm just thinking. I have all those images of people just getting brutally knocked. What did he? I just missed what he said. Career was in a. The last knockout in Tyson's professional career wow, was okay. in a fight with Clifford Etienne on February 22nd, 2003. Etienne at the time was one of the most spectacular boxers of the early 2000s, according to The Ring. There were rumors about Tyson's poor physical fitness, and reporters were constantly looking for new gossip. Yeah, see? The fight was one of the shortest held by Tyson. After a rather slow start, he threw a right hook Ooh. that knocked Ooh. Clifford to the floor. The referee Broke his counted knee. to 10, but Etienne was still on the floor. At 49 seconds of the first round, Etienne was knocked out, concluding Fuck. Mike's legendary knockouts. Yeah, these are... Oh, he has the face tattoo now. Dude, I didn't even notice. I don't know how far into this he got his face tattoo. That's, that's mean. That's a mean tattoo. Tyson is an impressive and intimidating fighter. He received the title of the cruelest fighter for a reason, and yeah, that's it's easy to see why after what we have witnessed today. What do you think of the boxing he, legend? He's a monster. Please let us know in the comments, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the yeah, channel. Wow. See you next time in the ring. Dude, that's some crazy, crazy knockouts. Unreal. This guy's a monster, a menace, man. Well done. And he, he started fighting some blobs, that's for sure. Like, look at this guy. My like, what is that? I mean, it is what it is, but damn. So is he bit someone's ear off. Did he bite Holyfield's ear off? Is that why he got his, uh, I guess he lost his boxing license? Is that why he ended up anyways fighting plebs? Yeah, this, this, this one was hilarious, where he just like runs away. He's like, nah, man, I want to quit. They're like, no, man, you got to do a couple more rounds. It just gets barbarded with look at this hold up right and you there, the fight like, just getting throw, after the shit, third bell, at him. the referee raised tyson's hand a technical knockout spectacular that's gotta be fucking wild yo and this guy broke his freaking legs off his knees done right here he watch threw this. a right ah, hook that knocked ah. clifford to the floor the referee he threw a right hook ah. that knocked by tyson dude a the way his knee start, bends he threw a right ah like look hook. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 I have bad knees, so this really hurts me. That knocked Clifford Oof. to the floor. Oof. The referee counted to 10. Dang, that's crazy. I gotta say, I wanna watch some more Mike Tyson. And he was a monster. I'm not a big knockout type of guy. I like to, I like to play the game. Um, I also don't like hitting people. I also don't like uh, blood. So that's why you, you see me a little squirmish. But damn, Mike Tyson, man. Mike! Never know I wanna be gangster trying to play hard. Then down, 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 then down